Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining us. Today we are looking at software update 2022.16.1.1 for our Tesla Model 3 performance in red here in Sydney, Australia. Let's take a look at it right now. The first one is driver profiles. Media player accounts, for example, Spotify login are now linked to your driver profile. Simply log in to your media account while your driver profile is selected. Excellent, so more customization for driver profiles. Next one is navigation energy prediction. Navigation energy prediction. Energy prediction for your route has been improved by incorporating forecasted crosswind, headwind, humidity, and ambient temperature when using online navigation. That's fantastic. Uh, we recently went on a road trip from Sydney to Melbourne to Adelaide and back again. So this is really good now that Tesla has incorporated things like crosswind, headwind, humidity, ambient temperature to improve uh, prediction of how much battery range will remain on your long drives. Excellent work, Tesla. Fantastic. And a couple more things I also want to mention that are undocumented. Uh, over the last few weeks, a lot of uh, Tesla owners uh, have noticed that sentry mode and dash cam uh, has been playing up because the uh, USB drive or SSD drive has not been correctly activated every time they start their car and they've had to uh, take the USB plug in and out to reactivate it again. I certainly would not be comfortable driving off without uh, the uh, dash cam or sentry mode working and how you can tell it's working is if you've got this red dot here next to the camera icon down below there uh, for the sentry mode and dash cam. If uh, you see a cross at any time, uh, just unplug your USB drive and put it back in and usually that works. Uh, as I said over the last couple of weeks, it hasn't been working, uh, but I believe since this update came out two days ago, my wife Joy, who primarily drives this car, has been noticing less issues with that. So hopefully that bug has now been squashed. And uh, if you're watching this and you've uh, noticed that improvement as well, I'll leave that in the comments section below. The other undocumented change I want to go through today is the improved autopilot visualizations when we drive. So after this, we'll go for an autopilot test drive to take note of those new visualizations. Now, naturally, I do get asked a lot about driving a Tesla and electric vehicle. Questions like, what's the actual range of the vehicle? Does it really go that quickly? And can you take your family out for a road trip? And that's when I refer them to ev.com.au and that's Australia's very own Tesla and electric vehicle sharing platform. EV has a range of cars for you to choose from to rent from real owners who give you genuine handovers and you get first-hand accounts of what it's really like to own an EV. So with ev.com.au you can hire for a few days to see what it's really like to own an electric vehicle beyond that short test drive. You can also loan it for a weekend, take the family with you, head out for a long drive and see what it's really like to holiday with an electric vehicle. And of course, you can always use EV to purchase a rental as a gift for that special someone who's always talking about Teslas. You know exactly who I'm talking about. So head out to ev.com.au forward slash Tesla Tom. Don't forget to use my coupon code Tesla Tom for $30 off your first rental. With an ever-growing fleet of Teslas and electric vehicles to choose from, there's sure to be an EV car near you. And now for the autopilot test drive. All right, everyone, let's head out for a test drive and check out those new autopilot visualizations. Let's go. All right, everyone, heading off on that autopilot test drive. Now, this Model 3 is equipped with the FSD package, so we do have that lane change function if we need it. As we head out onto a main road, now that's one of the benefits of driving a Tesla. With that acceleration, you can quite safely merge onto a main road like that. That's one of the uh, things I like about that extra torque the extra power. All right, let's engage autopilot, double tap right stalk. There we go. Lane change to the right, perfect. All right, so you tell me whether you are seeing improved autopilot visualizations with the surrounding vehicles there. I think, I think they are looking a bit better, I've got to say. That bus there looks pretty good on the screen and it looks very similar now to the um, the videos I've seen online from the US with the FSD beta uh, sprites and visualizations on the screen. So good to see we are now all in line uh, with, I guess, what's coming up in the future with uh, FSD beta, hopefully dropping in Australia. So uh, this morning, uh, we are just gonna head out for a quick test drive just around my local area. Let's just match the speed there. Riot stalk tap down matches the Posted speed sign to my max autopilot speed. You see a van to my right, that looks pretty good actually. 
And the lead car is a lot more obvious now, that uh, extra grey there with the lead car. Let's see what this boxy car to my left looks like. Okay, it just looks like a normal car. Now there's a Tesla in front of us, a, another Model 3. So let's see what that looks like. I might just increase my follow distance, or rather get closer, not increase, go the other way. Lessen the follow distance. So there's a Tesla to my left. Let's see whether it looks different on the screen. No, looks like every other car, unfortunately. It'd be great if uh, Teslas could spot other Teslas uh, on the autopilot visualization. And then you can, uh, you can spot them on the screen there. That would be good, wouldn't it? Another thing about uh, having an autopilot on in stop-start traffic like this is great because, again, it, uh, the follow is quite smooth now. And uh, even at low speeds, uh, regenerative braking is also engaged, so very handy there in stop-start traffic. Of course, with a basic autopilot, uh, it, you still see the traffic lights, but it doesn't um, engage so, you know, it won't stop on the red for you if you're the first car. So that's the big difference again between BASIC and FSD. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Blue sky, love it. Makes for great footage. All right, of course, another benefit of F FSD package is this auto lane change and arguably uh, probably the best function so far in Australia. Uh, the Navigate on Autopilot is um, probably a bit touch and go still, but this auto lane change function is great, particularly if you're going on a road trip, you know, if you've got lots of big trucks, you want to pass them, then um, it's really handy as opposed to having to take it on and off Autopilot. Yeah, visualizations are looking good. And uh, you know, having having test driven lots of other EVs, um, I still think the lane keeping function or the auto steer function in the Tesla is still in a class of its own. Other cars, you know, they've got auto steer, but it still tends to ping pong a bit. When I when I say ping pong, I mean the car goes side to side of the lane. It's just not as reliable and as predictable as the Tesla autopilot. So I think if you like that auto steer function, I would highly recommend a Tesla still over uh, another brand, just for that reason alone. And again, not just autopilot, but the cruise control function, um, the adaptive cruise, cruise control is great. And also, um, it just tends to keep the speed better. Um, like what I mean by that is, it, uh, you know, if, if you want it to go at 70, it generally will go at 70, even if there's undulating terrain, if it's going up and down hills, uh, I find that it just keeps the speed better. And that's risky if you have a car that doesn't keep the speed well, because if you're using it to control your speed, and if you've got speed cameras in your local area, then it could be potentially expensive exercise if, um, if the cruise control is not doing what it, uh, it's supposed to do. It was the cruise control officer. Uh, but yeah, it's at the most I've seen Tesla waver by about you know, probably one to two kilometers an hour at the very most. And that's like really steep or really undulating. But honestly, most of the time it's pretty good. Now, of course, it won't turn yet on uh, autopilot in Australia. You've got to take it off like this. And then once we go around this roundabout and meet back up the other way, on the main road, we'll test it once again. There we go. Big trucks to my left and buses. Saw a flash of that. Does it pick up this caravan to my left? Not really. This old trailer? No. Oh yeah, a little bit, little car there. It certainly differentiates utes and trucks better. That genuinely looks like a ute now in front of me. See that? I can see a line of cars behind me too. Yeah, that's nice. It's a shame this blind spot monitor blocks 
the visualizations while it's on. Okay, back on the main road. Let's put autopilot back on, double tap right stalk. Now just be wary also with um, forks in the road. Autopilot may not behave as intended. I'll see if I, because I want to go on this underpass here. I'll see whether I can like just influence this a little bit. No, okay, so just disengaged. Thought I could nudge it a bit to the right and it'll take the fork, but I, it looked like the car was going left, so that's okay. Room for improvement. There we go. And uh, again, autopilot is just an absolute dream on nice straight roads like this. If you are on a road trip somewhere with your car, which we've done of course, very easy. Less fatigue as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to uh, driving our new Model Y. Yes, we've ordered a blue performance Model Y. Make sure you check that video out. Joy and I ordered that together with you all online. Uh, yeah. Looking forward to that, hopefully later this year, if we're one of the first to get it. And uh, if you ordered a Tesla Model Y as well recently, congratulations. And uh, let me know in the comments section what you ordered. And of course, I am looking for one of the first few deliveries on that very first ship that will be taking, uh, or will, that will be bringing Model Ys to Australia. So if I'm not the first, I would like to possibly be there with you on delivery day if you're one of the first cars in Sydney, Australia. Uh, I'm joining with you if you're wanting me to be there for the excitement uh, of a Tesla Model Y delivery. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be good. I'm so glad it's here in Australia. We've been waiting for it for so long. It's just almost a sense of relief, isn't it, that it's here in Australia. Alrighty, everyone, that's it for me today. That's software update 2022.16.11.3. I hope I got that right. Um, Whatever it is, it's a good update, it's fixed a few bugs, new visualizations, new driver profiles, all good things. I'm very grateful for over the air software update, which of course is another selling point for the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y and any other Tesla for that matter. Take care everyone. Uh, if you uh, like this video, please uh, give it a like and also press that subscribe button if you haven't, haven't done so already yet. Otherwise, stay safe and I'll see you at the next software update video. And as always, Happy charging.